Hey everyone, this is Sai Leo. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a beautiful and professional looking website for your skincare brand using Shopify. Whether you are selling lotion, serum, or puri product, this step-by-step -step tutorial will help you build your store from scratch. And I will also show you how to make it more advanced with just a few easy design tricks. Let's get started. First thing first, log in into your Shopify account and head to the online store, which you will find on the left side. Then click on the team section. You will see your current team here, but you can explore free themes too. If you're just going to click on visit team store, you can explore a lot of free themes here. I am going to use Dawn Team. It's clear, flexible, and super easy to customize. Now let's go and click on try theme here. Once it added, hit customize. Go and click on customize. Now we will editing the entire home page here. You can use the full screen or the mobile preview to check out how it's look on different devices. And while working on your website, you can just go and click on the three dots and click on preview. I will show your website in completely how it's look over Google or any of the browsers. So this is how it's going to look like. And we will check once our website are completely made. Let's start with the announcement bars. On the top, you will see this option of welcome to our store. Now here, I will just add something, a new message. Call free shipping on all orders or 20% off this week. Something like this. You can also enter the link. So whenever customer comes up and click on this uh, option here on this space, so they will redirect it to specific collection or specific product or page. So I am going to link it with the collection. So I'm just going to select your home page. But if you want to remove it, you can simply select this announcement bar and click on remove selection. In my case, I don't want to remove, so I will just go and select here, do. Now this is header. So first of all, we will select this header and I want this to the middle left. If you want in the middle center, you can also keep it in the middle center here. Now here, you can move this logo position, whether you want in the center or left side. Now this is a menu bar. So you can just change the menu bar, for example, whether it be a drop down or mega menu or something like this. So I would like to keep these as a drop down or drawer. So it will hide the menu bar here. So if anybody comes and click on here, this is how it's going to open up. Now I'm just going to click on this theme sighting scare icon. Now you have to go to the logo section. Now you can lower your logo as well as Favicon straight from your computer or laptop. So I'm going to upload my logo here. This is going to be my logo. As you can see here, the logo size is very small, so you can increase the logo size from width option. Now this look pretty much perfect. Now here, I'm going to add a template here. So simply just go and click on add section to this template. And here I'm going to use image with text. And I'm going to remove this option. So let's have this one sec here and click on remove selection. Right, as well as I don't want any future product selection here, I will also remove it. Now, if you want to check out, this is how it's going to look over your smartphone. After this, I'm going to add a section to the template that is basically a collection list. So here you can say this is going to store your entire collection, maybe something like this, for example, night cream on day cream or something like this. You can create different collections, a summer collection, meter collection, something like that. Now, if you want to more than three columns, you can increase up to four and the maximum limit is up to six. I like to keep it has a three because it's look very simple. If you want to change this collection name, you can change it directly from here. In some cases, if you have increased your column section here, but you will see there's a complete uh, blank space. So you have to select any of this collection and just go and click on this plus icon. So if you click on this plus icon, automatically a new collection option will be available here. After this, I'm going to add an image banner. So click on add section to template. And this is the image banner here. And I'm going to edit this entire text, which is basically sale is on. You can change the heading size directly from here if you want to. So I would like to keep it as a large or a medium. For those who don't know how this image banner is going to help. So image banner is pretty much useful when you are giving a sale on specific collection. Let's say you have, oh, let's take an example. If you are giving a sale on winter collection, so you can just upload the image of winter collection in very curative and creative way, and you can give a sale. So if there is around 50%, 40% say is going on. So you can see here 40% sale is on like this. So customers can come up and click on, and they can explore your entire 
winter collection. Now the next part is we are going to customize the colors. So simply on the left side, head over to the theme section. And here you will find this option of color. Now here I'm going to use a scheme one color here. This is a background. So I'm going to use a wear light pink color here, which is basically this one. If you want the exact color, then you can copy this code and paste it in your Shopify color scheme section. If you want to change these color of texture solid button background, then you can change it from here. But in my case, I want to keep this as, as a completely black. If you don't know how the different color scheme is going to help us. So let's say this is a collection and I want to assign a different color scheme. So I can just go and choose a different color schemes. So if I choose here scheme two, you can see here color card completely change. This is scheme five. So in this way, you can just go and use or create different kind of color schemes here. So the scene which you are seeing right now, this is the future team which we are going to look like. And by the way, if you want to save time, I have a ready-made Shopify team for skincare and beauty store. So you have to just upload, edit, and launch. And by the way, this is a helping video which will help you to do this. They also come with a logo, banner, and full setup guide. The link is given in the description. And please join our Discord server so that you can get all these resources and how I created this images for completely free and completely copyright free. Now let's get back to the video. Now here is image with text. So we are going to upload image, select this section and just go and select this image. Now here we are going to upload our image here. I'm going to use this image. Now this is how it's look. By the way, for those who don't know how to create such good looking images, completely copyright free, I have created with AI, which you can see here over your screen, right? This look really beautiful with my own product, right? That is a beauty by Leo. So how you can create this? Well, you can find such images on my Discord server and as well as as a video on it to create such good yeah, images. Now here, you can change the ratio if you want in the portrait. Okay, so here, first of all, select the section here. Now here, you can see whether you want some kind of animation or not or whether you want in the medium size. So this is how it's going to look like a large size. So in your way, you can just fit it or just go to adapt with the image. You can even change the width. So whether you want medium, large, or just a small. So small looks pretty cool, but I will go with the medium here. You can customize a lot. So let's say regarding this text, you want to check out whether they want you, you want overlap or non. And position of the text should be the middle or bottom or the alignment of the image should be like this or from the right side or center. Or mobile alignment should be the center. So if you just go to check out the mobile here, this is how it's going to look like if you want to keep it left. So this is going to look like left here. Center is pretty cool with this one. Now here you can customize the text. So just go and click on X to you. You can select this entire text. You can make it bold, italic, completely up to your use case here. And here you can see I have changed the text. I mean the font and how you can do it for yourself. So you have to just go to the theme section. Now go to the typography. And here in the font, you have to select whichever fonts you like, which is good for. For example, let's say Moda, it's looking good. So I'm just going to use this one. Or you can use something else which suit your complete website. And this is the description section. You can add your description. So this is how it's going to look like. If you want to make it bold, select all the text. You can make it bold here. Right or make it italic, you can change whether this is a heading 2 or heading 1. Completely up to your use case. I just like to keep it as a heading 4. And unbold is looking pretty cool. Now here you can add this like a subtitle or add it in the body. So this is how it's going to look like. Very simple and elegant. Now there is a button label. So once I just go and click on here, you can just write here, show up now. And here you can add the link of the specific product. So if you're showing a specific product, you can add this link of specific product. Or if you are showcasing a, you know, collection or a page, so you depending on that, you can choose any one of this option here, right? So that is really easy thing to do. And if you want to outline this style, you can just do like this, right? And if you want to do with go with the black one, then you can use a black one. And here's how this is going to appear on your phone. So this is our logo and this is how it's going to look like over here. Very simple and nice. Let's scroll down and let's go to the collections section here. Now here you will find this option of view all button. 
So if you turn this on, so all this, I mean, if customers come on and click on here, they will be redirected to all this collection. So here you can see visible if list has more collection than shown. So if anybody, if let's say customer comes and click on here, so it will redirect to this specific collection. But if a customer clicks on here somewhere on the black space, then they will be redirected to every collection. In mobile, you can see here image collection is showing one by one here. But if you want to customize this up, you can customize here. For example, in the image ratio, you can just kind of click on adapt to image, right? And here you can see there's some other, some more options. For example, one column, Olitis, which is cool going to only show up in the mobile layout here, right? So I like to keep this as four, but if you just go and check out the desktop or PC one, and this is going to look like this. Let's work on this collection. So first of all, if I just go to the collection here on the left side, it will ask me to error collection. So here you can see I don't have any collection and I will just give you a complete guide how you can create it. So simply after click on create collection, you can also directly, uh, you know, go and select your product and just go to the collection. For those who don't know how to make collections, so let's say I'm making a collection on a cream. So let's say I will just write here, Tono, right? You can add a description or you can use AI to write it. So you can use ChatGPT or uh, even, you know, a Shopify also has a AI so you can add it. Now, very important, so you have to add image. So whatever image you're going to add it here will show up here. So let me give an example. Let's add an image here. Now this is the image. So this is the cover image here, which is basically a Tona cream here, or I can just write here Tona cream. Now it will get this option of manual or smart. So let's say you have to add a product. So if I just go and click on manual, I can search my product. So let's say I have a product list here and I can add one of the product here and automatically we can add it. I if it just go to the smart, say if I just go and click on smart, let's say you're selling a product, let's say less than 500. So here you can write it, for example, that's I will just go to the price and here I will select which of a product will be less than or here we have to select here less than 500. So automatically it will be added to this collection. So this is where smart comes in play, right? I will just go with a manual here and this is the how it's going to look over Google, right? Once everything is done, let's go and click on safe. Let's come back to the store and refresh our store here. Now, if I just go and click on collection here, a new collection is available. That is a tuner cream. So this is how you can add it. And in the same way, you have to fill up all this collection section. Now, all, if any customer comes up and click on this section here, automatically they will be redirected to tuner cream here and they will be able to buy the product or explore the tuner cream product. I have added all this collection and you can see here, this is really beautiful. Let's check out in a bigger large screen here. So this is our image with text. Now this is a collection. And here, if you want to customize, you can just go with view all. And here you can change it, right? So let's say you want to do it with outline or you want to remove it completely so you can just remove it. So this is a way, and this is really simple. If you want to decrease the pairing, which is basically the space on top, as well as on the bottom, you can increase it and you can decrease it. If you want to change the collection here, simply just go on the left side and you can change it from here. I will scroll down and this time it's now regarding image banner. Now I'm going to upload two images here. So let's go and select here. The first image is going to be this one. And the second image, I'm going to add it from here and let's click on there. So automatically there will be a partition in the image and you can increase the opacity as well as the height. So I will just go and click on adapt to the image. Now the image size is really large here and you can put animation, for example, ambient movement here. So you can see here, this is slightly movement delay images. You can see here, uh, let's say zoom in scroll. So if I just scroll here, you can see here, this is how it's going to look like. So I'm just going to keep it like this, zoom in in scroll. And here in this way, the face of this woman or the lady will not be hidden, as well as customers can identify that this of 40% sale is on. If you want, you can increase your opacity so the background image will be a little bit darker here. So there will be much more focus on the sale, right? So as you can see here, and there's a very light color and suddenly there is a dark color. So the main focus can be on the 40% sale, which is live right now. Now here you can see description. So I'm going to remove it entirely. Uh, here you will see two button. So I'm going to remove the one button. And here I've just right here, sure, now like this or i can even put a outline like this or let it be now here i will put a link of this collection 
So this collection is basically regarding the eye cream. So I'm just going to select here eye cream. Other customers can directly keep in. Uh, once they come here and click on shop now, they will be redirected to eye cream collection list and they can explore the product or maybe they can buy it. Let's check out how it appear on phone. So this is how it's going to look over phone here. And as you can see here. So if you see closely, you will not able to identify when the image card changed. So when I'm just scrolling it down, you can see here image is changing in very smooth transition. So I like this really cool. And actually this is really cool. Now, if you see very closely, you will find a navigation bar, which is basically this one. See if any customers come up here and they click on here. This is basically this one. Right now, I will show you how you can edit this navigation bar here. You have to just come to your Shopify dashboard. And here you can see this is online store here. Just click on here. Then you have to come to this pages section. So you have to make sure first of all, just go and click on add page here. Let's say I'm going to make an image or let's a page on about us. And basically there should be one more option of navigation. So if you're not able to find it, you have to just cover the inside content. And here you will able to find this menu. So if you see your website, here you can see home catalog and contact. Same way, here you will find it. Now here you can just go and click on create menu on the top right side corner. And you can create your own menu directly from here. So here you can see sidebar. So I'm just going to name this as a main menu and click on add menu item. Let's say I'm going to add a label of tuner. Now I'm going to add a collection page of basically tuner. Same way I can just go in and add something else. So here I will just go and click on add menu. And here, let's say this time it's make a kit. And I will add the link of my collection or you can even add for your specific product like this. And I will just go and click on save. Or if you want to edit the same thing here, so you can just go and click on main menu, which is home catalog and contact. And here you can add it something more. For example, let's say I will just write here cleanser and I will add just collection page of cleanser. And I will just go and click on save. Now, if you come back to the store and you refresh this page, you will find this cleanser option here, which you can say this, right? Saying this way, if you want to erase or remove this catalog, you can remove this catalog. As well as if you want to remove this contact or home, you can just remove it and just go and click on save. So this is a much better option here. Now let's customize this footer section. So you have to just come to this bottom here. And if you want to add this newsletter, which is basically email signup, you can add this. Now here you will find this more option. For example, if you want to add your social media icons, just go and click on there. Now here you will find this option of media icons so you can add it which you will find in the theme settings. So once you come up here, scroll down and here you have to add the link of your social media. So once I add the link of Facebook, you can see here Facebook logo is here. Just for an example, you can add an image if you want to. You can add a heading, you can add a description. Let's say here I will add a Instagram. So here you can see you will find Instagram logo will come up here. You can see here, right? So this is really easy thing to add your social media icons. Now all these social media icons has been added here and that is really easy and simple thing to do. If you want, you can add something more. For example, policies laying or you can add a menu in your footer section. And this is how you build a full functional skincare website using Shopify. You now have a home page, collection, menus and beautiful design that reflect your brand. So this is how you can do so. By the way, if you want to skip this entire design process, I also offer a premium Shopify template, which is basically you can find in the description. And first of all, you have to join our Discord server and there you can just buy it at very cheap dirt price. This is it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe.